Good day, friends. Uh, another study, uh, devotion from God's Word, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. I'm going slow at the moment because there's such depth and riches in these passages. And I'm not giving you uh, a deep theological study. I'm just speaking to your heart because uh, that's what this devotion is about. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Now, here's a thought about the eyes of your heart. Why didn't we say so that your mind may be enlightened? Because there are many people who follow God with thoughts and minds and intellect only. And I think what the writer is trying to say to us here, that I pray that not only will you understand the gospel, because previously he says the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Now he says that your heart may be open. Because it's one thing to understand a concept uh, as to have wisdom about something. It's one thing to have the intellectual understanding of redemption or anything in the Bible. But there's something so different when the eyes of your heart, where it's really the emotion, it's really where, where, where I'm feeling God in a sense, if I can put it like that. And that is what, what Paul is saying is, uh, the previous verse says, may you get wisdom and may you, may you be enlightened, may you receive revelation. But revelation needs to go from our head down into our heart to really, really make an impact. And those are the kind of people who walk like this, where their hearts have been enlightened. They, they're full of hope, they're full of joy, and they're full of, of the, the um, hope for the future, but also trust in God as well. So that's why it's so important for us. It's not just to collect intellectual thoughts about God. It is important to understand and to know the scriptures, but it's so important to let that go down into our hearts. And again, like I said yesterday as well, that is the work of the Holy Spirit. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, enlightened, opened, be, be uh, awakened uh, by the Spirit. Uh, so that you may know the hope to which he called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance. There's something about a person when they understand with their hearts as well, and not just with their intellect. There's something about those people that are special. And I pray today that you would hear the word and that you would think of your relationship of Jesus as an intellectual one, but also as a heart one, that the, your heart and your intellect would be enlightened by the Spirit. So I pray for your heart to be opened and enlightened today so that you will know the hope to which you, he has called you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are not just stimulating our minds, and you do. It is phenomenal to think about your word, the depth of your word, and, and, and all the concepts that we understand in your word. But it is, it is so great when those thoughts, that wisdom, that revelation touches our hearts, because when it touches our heart, we know that then it changes our lives. And I pray today for everybody that minds and hearts will be changed as we walk with you today. In Jesus' name, amen.